This is a brief tutorial on how to turn a PDF file into a JPEG image so that it can be shared for Facebook. Once you open the PDF in Adobe Reader, you need to make sure that the size of the image has been reduced so that everything you want to turn into an image file can be viewed on a single screen without needing to scroll up and down. As you see here with this newsletter, I've had to reduce it to 83.2% to get it to fit on my screen. Once you've done that, you go to Edit and then take a snapshot. Click then on the image on your screen. It will flash and you'll get this confirmation that you've copied this into your clipboard. From there, you open Paint and paste the image into Paint directly. Click the Crop button so that you reduce the size of the image to just that which you copied from Adobe. And then you go to Save As. Once you're in Save As, you want to make sure to save it either as a PNG or a JPEG. Both are image files and will work appropriately. Give the file a recognizable title and click Save. So then you've, you've completed the process of converting from PDF to image. And now you simply need to open your home page of your Facebook. And in this What's on Your Mind bar, click Photo. Upload photo, choose file, and navigate to the image wherever it was that you saved it. Click open. You can give it a title if you'd like, but it's not required in order to post. We'll call this newsletter for the month. Spell it correctly. And click post. As you can see, it now appears on your timeline. This will give it the greatest degree of exposure, and I recommend doing both this and uploading it a second time if you're doing something like sharing a newsletter or something which will be part of a series. If you click on your photo tab, you'll see that anything you post to your wall, like we just did, is saved in a default album that Facebook creates for you called Wall Photos. So you can see here, this is the newsletter that we already uploaded. However, you'll want to create for a series of images a special uh, album just titled, for example, Newsletters. The way to do this is going into Add Photos, selecting the image that you just uploaded and any others that are included in the series. Click Open. And this will create a brand new album for it. You can give it a descriptor and a title, so we'll call this Newsletter Archives. Keep up to date with Speech Plus. You can add information like the date of this image here, where it was taken, or where your business is located as well as putting a descriptor such as the date or month or whatever it is that you feel appropriately will help people navigate your archives. Click Post Photos. And now you've created a dedicated album just for archiving this specific type of image file of converted PDFs. So if you go back to your page and once again click on Photos, You'll see that now there are both wall photos and the dedicated album.